Hello, everybody. Uh, today, I want to talk about a topic that is uh, really, to me, in line with the upcoming holiday, which is Independence Day, the 4th of July. And it's about virtual real estate investing. And uh, no better time and place for me to say this, since I am on vacation. I'm actually at the Grand Canyon right now in Arizona. And uh, I am actually still working, doing investing from where I am. So I was thinking about that. And I said, that to me is true independence, right? That to me is being able to travel and live the life that you want and still make money because you have a full uh, running business. So I want to talk about you today, how I am able to achieve this. And uh, uh, like I said, I'm here sitting in my car <laughs> in, a, uh, in a park here on uh, near the Grand Canyon. So Okay, so let's talk about virtual investing first. When I talk about virtual, I don't really necessarily mean only wholesaling. You can do virtual buy and hold. You can do virtual fix and flip. There is a lot of way to look at virtual. Virtual means that you don't have to be there hands on. It doesn't also have to mean that you're in an hour state. You know, you can do virtual in your hometown. It just means that you don't have to be there to really do every step of the way. So in my case, uh, I live in South Florida near Fort Lauderdale, but I do invest in on the west side of Florida. We do invest in, in the Midwest. And like a, now that I'm traveling for the next six weeks, uh, I, I'm still doing investing. So that's virtual. OK, that's the virtual thing. Now, the key to do virtual investing is to have leads coming in consistently on automated pilot. OK, so how do we do that? How do I do that? Well, first of all, number one, and this is something I covered more a couple of weeks ago that I was talking about choosing the right area to invest right now is crucial. It's the number one thing you need to be really focused on before you do anything else. The best areas to invest right now are the smaller areas not the bigger metropolitan areas. If you're in an area like Atlanta, for example, you know, just go an hour from Atlanta. Same thing where I am in Miami or Fort Lauderdale, you start going into more the middle of Florida, total different way of doing things. There is not as much competitions. The sellers are, or the homeowners are more willing to talk to you. You're not gonna get a lot of the attitude. I noticed and the arrogance sometimes that you get into the bigger cities. So when I talk about smaller areas, you know, I personally like where there is at least 50,000 population or more. Um, I've seen investors doing very well with 10 to 20,000, you know, but personally, I like population of 50,000 to 200,000 right now. That's the best way to go about it as far as having low competition and really um, the response of people, how they talk to you is a much different. So choosing the right area. And so now what do I look for in these areas? Well, the same thing, you know, that you will look in a bigger area, but the thing is right now, because of a lot of the uh, evictions, moratoriums being, being lifted, Right. Um, it depends on where you are around the country. You have to find for your county when they're going to lift the evictions and people are going to start filing eviction again. So a lot of these landlords are tired, are fed up with what happened over the last years. They lost a lot of money. People haven't paid the rent. All right. So they're filing eviction. So approaching these tired landlords and say to them, OK, I'm interested in your property. That's a great thing to do right now. Uh, the other thing is we are going to see a surge in foreclosures. I don't think as big as some people say. I think actually um, we're not going to see the foreclosure meltdown where we had in 2007, 2008, but we're going to see an increase in, in foreclosures. So contacting people that are in distress in the smaller areas, uh, probates also, you know, probate, probates, evictions and also pre foreclosures will be the third three things. Now, one of the things you can do, you can find them through public records, right? You can contact the counties for those smaller areas and there is a way to get those information for free or you can go on one of the sources online. However, I would be careful with that because they're not updated as frequently. A lot of the possible lists don't make it there. The eviction list, unfortunately, you have to get it directly from the county. There is no place where you can buy that online, okay? 
So we have a process where we get it from the county every month and we get the docket of the upcoming evictions. Um, so those are ways to do it. So And what you do is you contact these people, you know, um, you can text them, uh, you can call them. Although calling lately is not something that we do. We found out that people got burned out from calling, not just from real estate, but for telemarketers, for a lot of people doing all kinds of calling lately. And people just, you know, and now the phones even market the spam, right? If somebody calls it, you don't know the number. So my best thing with smaller uh, areas is honestly send a postcard. With direct marketing in smaller area works really, really well, by the way. And also texting. Okay, so those are the two best ways that we contact people from these smaller areas. Another thing that we have been doing really well and developing is uh, P PPC, paper clicks, uh, with Facebook and Google Ads. Now, you know how what you have to do, but even if you spend only $5 a day in the beginning and really get some tractions, we have certain stats that we look for. We need to reach out a certain response rate. And, uh, you know, but PPC, pay-per-click is doing very well. Uh, there are services out there that can build you a website. They can optimize it for SEO. They can make it for uh, PPC friendly. And also, you know, if you do Facebook ads, you can create, which is free, a fan page. And obviously you want to advertise for the fan page and use your fan page as your website. Now, we do a lot of training around this because this is actually something that is very up and coming and is something that is really going out there and the, the, the important thing when you reach out to these owners especially online um, and when you have a website or you do PPC or anything like that you want to offer them something in return for them to contact you so for example if you uh, contact somebody that is going into foreclosure, you're targeting uh, some people that are going into foreclosure or some type of distress situation, uh, offer a report, you know? So if you do an advertisement and say, seven ways to stop a foreclosure. And so, you know, if you're going through foreclosure yourself as a homeowner, you wanna see how can I stop my foreclosure? You know, seven ways I can do that. And so we have a report that we give to them on seven ways to stop a foreclosure. Uh, same thing, you know, if you are a landlord and you're targeting landlords that are tired of dealing with tenants, you know, you can give, you know, five ways to make money from real estate without owning rental property. Okay, we have a report about that. So you really want to uh, get to the, you know, their emotional uh, way of what is that's going to get this person to click, get the report, and then we have, when they get to the page to get the report, they will have a form for them to fill out and give us the information, and then we'll reach out to them and see. So that's working really well, but you have to do it strategically a certain way. So, you know, once you have a setup where we have PPC, we have Facebook fan pages, we have um, automation on getting these leads for evictions and probates and pre-foreclosures. Uh, we use a direct marketing company like Postcard Mania that sends out the postcards automatically. We also have a setup where our CRM texts people automatically. So we have everything, all the process set up virtually so that, you know, our job is only when the leads come in and want to talk to us, that's when I can jump on the phone. And I'm fine with that. I can travel, I can do what I want. And, and when I get a text throughout the day that says, hey, you know, we have a lead, I go into my CRM, pull up the information and get on the call. So this is something you can do. Everything else is totally automated. And that's the real independence of real estate investing, right? This is where you can truly celebrate your own holiday of independence and real estate investing. So I wanted to share something for you because I thought it was really much in line with the upcoming holiday. And I also wanna offer you, if you're watching this through the uh, live, uh, Facebook Live, there is a link here below the video to go ahead and go on the page and fill out the questionnaire and see how we can maybe help you and give you some insights on how you can do your business virtually. Or if you are seeing this through the landing page on our website, there is a form here underneath the video. Go ahead and just answer some simple question. We wanna know more about you and also maybe give you some help and insights on how you can do this 
business virtually and travel you know for six weeks at a time or six months at a time if you want to okay so i hope you have a great weekend a great holiday i hope this was uh, eye-opening for you it gave you some good insights and i look forward to speaking to you very soon take care